We've come to be very familiar with the operation of an MRI, and they're useful in a lot of different ways to um, examine and detect in injury or damage to the body. And the brain is no exception. But remember that the, many times damage to the brain occurs on a very, very, very tiny neuron, the level of the brain that's very, very difficult to detect. MRIs come in various strengths. Uh, a person may have a well-documented brain injury from a physician, but the MRI may not be strong enough to actually detect the physical damage done to those neurons within the brain. So sometimes using a stronger magnet, we get a clearer picture, but many times well-documented clinical evidence of brain injury is simply not large enough or big enough to be detected on MRI, so they're not infallible.